Hallelujah. 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 How many of you know that hallelujah is a command? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means lift up your voice. It means open up your mouth and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let us pray. Let us stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies, God, towards us. God, we thank you, God, for this another day, God, that you have made. God, we will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you, God, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. God, we thank you, God, for a reasonable portion of health and strength. God, we thank you, God, for activities of our limbs. God, we thank you, God, for keeping us in our right mind. God, we thank you, God, right now in the name of Jesus for allowing us to travel here safely, God. God, we thank you, God, for keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger. God, we thank you, God, for our safe arrival here today, God. God, we come for one purpose, God, and for one reason, uh, and that is to magnify your name. Uh, that is to give you glory. Uh, that is to make your name great in this place. Uh, that we, that is to make your name great in this place. Uh, God, we bless you on today, uh, and we magnify your name, uh, for you are good and you are great, uh, and greatly to be praised. Uh, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same sun, uh, your name is worthy to be praised. Uh, God, we come to bless you and to magnify your name. Uh, God, we bless you on today uh, for everything that you're going to do to and through us. Uh, God, we say have your way in us. Uh, God, we say have your way in us. Uh, on today, God, get the glory out of our lives. Uh, God, all of our worship uh, and all of our praise uh, on this morning, it flows to you. Uh, God, we just begin to open up our mouths uh, and we just begin to bless your name. Uh, God, we just begin to love on you on this morning. Uh, for you made ways out of no ways. Uh, you made ways in the, in the desert. Uh, God, and we thank you. Uh, you were an oasis in the desert. Uh, you were a well in the desert. Uh, in dry and barren places. Uh, you have restored us. Uh, you have lifted us up. Uh, and God, for this we come to magnify your name. Uh, we come to bless you. Uh, we come to make your name big in this place. Uh, God, we thank you. Uh, we love you. Uh, we honor you. Uh, we honor your presence. Uh, God, we thank you uh, for making your abode in this place. Uh, God, we thank you uh, for our reward on today uh, is your presence. Uh, I say our reward on today uh, is your presence. Uh, we thank you uh, right now in the name of Jesus uh, and we ask you uh, to move from heart to heart uh, and from breast to breast uh, God we don't want to leave the same way that we came uh, we want to leave change uh, we understand that one moment uh, in your presence uh, one moment uh, in your presence uh, can change everything uh, God so we forget about ourselves uh, and we concentrate on you uh, we forget about our problems uh, and we magnify you uh, we make you bigger than our problems uh, we make you bigger than our situations uh, for you are the name that's greater than any name uh, you are the name that's above every name uh, God we thank you uh, for at the name of Jesus uh, every knee shall bow uh, and every tongue shall confess uh. God, we thank you. Uh, saturate this place uh, with your presence. Uh, God, have your way. Uh, I say, have your way. Uh, I say, have your way. Uh, be, be God uh, in this place. Uh, be very God uh, in this place. Uh, do something new. Uh, do something we never seen before. Uh, show yourself strong. Uh, show yourself mighty. Uh, show yourself powerful uh, in this place. Uh, change us. Uh, rearrange our minds uh, shift our wayward thoughts uh, we bind the distraction uh, and the distractor uh, anything uh, that will keep us out of your presence uh, anything uh, that will keep us out of your will uh, right now in the name of Jesus uh, we decree and declare uh, that salvation uh, will be in this place uh, healing uh, will manifest in this place uh, deliverance uh, will manifest in this place uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we decree it uh, and we declare it uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh.
In the name of Jesus. Uh, 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 God, we thank you uh, for this opportunity uh, to worship your name. Uh, God, we thank you uh, for this opportunity to give your name the glory, uh, to give your name the honor, uh, and to give your name the praise. Uh, for the Lord is good. I say, for the Lord is good. I say, for the Lord is good. I say, for the Lord is good. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody. We almost there. Open up your mouth and magnify them. Come on, open up your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's join in with the angels. Come on, let's join in with the heavenly hosts. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna. Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. 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 We say God get the glory. Give the honor. And all praises due to you. These are the prayers of your people. Thus far the prayers of your people. And while you're clapping your hands, open up your mouth and give the Lord praise. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see how great. How great is our God. Come on and sing with me how great is our God and no will see how great how great is our God oh, oh, oh how great is our God sing with me how great is our God how great, how great is our God, how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and all we'll see how great, how great is our God.
come on and sing with me how great is our God that no one will see how great how great is our God for he's the name above all names oh and he's worthy of our praise and my heart will sing how great is our God If you know him to be a great God, uh, somebody magnify him. Uh, if you know him to be a great God, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Water turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. to 
the darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There's none like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is awesome in power our God our God water you turn into wine you open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you there's none like you darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you there's none like you oh our God is greater our God is stronger Lord you are high Awesome in power, our God, our God, our God is greater, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other, our God is healer, he's awesome in power. Disease, not 
I'm poverty, what can stand, what can stand it? Not a bad doctor's report, not a bad lawyer's report, what can stand, what can stand again? Oh, our God is greater. Our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's awesome in power. Our God, our God, oh, our God is healer, our God is stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's awesome in power, our God, our God, our God is an awesome God, he reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with situation our God is in us better than anybody else on earth our God is in us he's able to heal he's able to deliver our God is in us God one more time sing our God is in us
the grace of God. I wish I had a witness today that can testify. I've been through some stuff, but it could have been worse. I'm still here. I've been through some stuff. It's been a little rough as of late, but it could have been worse. I'm still here by the grace of God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm reminded. I know y'all sanctify. Y'all don't. Y'all don't look at movies and stuff. But there was a scene on the color purple. And she said, I may be black. I may be ugly. But I'm here. Every now and then you got to tell the devil, I may be beaten. I may be battered. I may be frustrated. But I'm still here. And as long as I'm here, I said, as long as I'm here, I got enough to bounce back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor God. We honor God for all of you this morning that are here. Amen. We want to prepare for our giving, our time of giving. Amen. I, I told you a couple Sundays ago that giving is still a part of worship. Amen, somebody. You can't be God-given no matter how hard you try. Amen. I'm a witness that you can give your way out of debt. I said I'm a witness. I am a witness. So we're getting ready to give. Get your seed in your hand. For those of you that are, uh, which camera? For those of you that have joined us via Amen stream, uh, even you can give. You might not be here with us, but even you can give. If you look at the screen, uh, there should be ways to be able to electronically give. If you have given your seed already, you still have a right to declare. Uh, we need to know that life and death resides in the power of the tongue you can decree and declare a thing amen so this is what we say this is my good seed and i'm sowing into fertile ground and by faith i decree i'll never be broke another day in my life hallelujah you're in the hands of the you know and, and you know what when you, when you release your seed, you, you ought to just say, God, I thank you. And just begin to praise him in advance. Hallelujah. 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 God is a good God. Amen. I said, God is a good God. Uh, we're getting ready to get into the word of God. But before I do... Uh, we want to continue to keep Sister Benson in our prayers. Um, she laid her son to rest on yesterday. Some of you may know her, some of you may not. She's quiet. Uh, she come in, she sit in the back, and she gets right out of here. Uh, she comes from Maryland. But her, she lost her son a couple of weeks ago, and they buried him on yet, funeralized him yesterday. So we want to definitely keep her in our prayers. And anyone else that you know uh, that may be sick, going through um, prayer is always in order you know um, you gonna want somebody to pray for you one day amen so you know we are a praying church we are a faith believing church um, is is can y'all cut me down just a little bit is uh, sister Moloch um, if sister Moloch is on uh, the stream just say I'm here is you, Sister Mola? You speaking on her behalf, huh? Well, thank you, Deacon Rocky. Amen. Pastoring is a thankless job. 
leading God's people is a very thankless job. And when I say thankless, I ain't talking about the little envelope stuff. I'm just talking about there's an expectation um, for the pastor to always be on 100. And the moment that he's not, he never was. Pastors feel like everything we do is scrutinized by people. And when we make a mistake, the Negro never was right. But when you make a mistake, we pray that grace is applied to your life. And it's hard being a pastor. But for me, it's one of the most rewarding things that I do. Uh, it's lonely because you don't know who to trust. You don't talk to people because people will take your words and manipulate them, you, you know. But thanks be to God that God has given me a charge to keep and I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, I, I pastor a great group of people. I am, I am perfectly imperfect and I'm okay with that. Uh, but I, I want to take time out to say God has blessed us with people that we we have never even met that that tune in every Sunday. Am I still right here, Cleo? This one. Every Sunday people tune in that I ain't I am not, I ain't got a clue who you are. But they tune in because of the experience that we provide here at Power and Praise. This morning about six o'clock, six thirty, I got an inbox. Um Sister Mola. She, she, she tunes in every Sunday faithfully and she requested prayer um, for a family member and as I was trying to wake myself up and read at the same time without glasses some of y'all try that uh, it was such an honor it was such an honor for someone that I have never met personally but have met me through the word of God that would reach out to me and say, can you pray, Pastor, for my family? So we're yet praying for her, her daughter, her entire family. Um, and I wanted to say this, for those of you that tune in, because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know who be tuning in, and I don't know who be tuning in, because um, I don't watch the feed. But if you tune in to us on a regular basis and you do not have um, a, a pastor or a church home, some kind of way, I don't know if it's type your name in the in the chat or or go into our inbox and give us your your name and your information because if if you love us enough to connect with us every Sunday, then we want to love on you enough to connect with you back. Uh, I, I need to know I need to know who I'm praying for. Uh, I, I need to know who I'm praying for and praying with specificity. Um, because that's what we do here. Um, I don't want you to just feel like I just watch them online. You know, this ain't BET. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is power and praise. And, and you ought to feel like you can reach me. So if I'm talking to you, you do not. Now, if you got pastor, you stick with your pastor. But if you don't have a pastor, you have one now. Um, Watching us is okay. Watching us is good. But you need to know that you have someone that's praying for you as well. And that's, that's our, our endeavor and our desire that as we move forward, we give the same attention to uh, technology that we do in-house, if that makes sense. I don't want to just treat technology who remember years ago um, during the time when they had like five offerings on Sunday? One, remember, remember the missions offering? You just put your little dollar in there or you didn't feel obligated to put into the missions because missions didn't apply to you. Amen. So I don't want our online viewers to feel like they're just a stepchild of the ministry. I want them to feel like they are a part of the ministry. So we're diligently working to make sure we upgrade their experience as well. 
Thank God for my Anglo-Saxon sister being in the back. Uh, she came in. Right on, right on. She came in. Sister Nikki invited her. Um, and Sister Nikki ain't here. She could have very well went home and said, I'll come back when Sister Nikki's here. But she came in. She was smiling. And she made herself welcome. And one thing about it, no matter who invites you, when you come in here, you got to feel welcome. And during prayer, she had her hands lifted up. She, she even getting red right now. I know she feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. Now, if, if, if it get good to you and you just jump up, you all right. Ain't nobody going to bother you. All right. All right. So, oh, praise God, praise God. I wanted to go to the funeral yesterday, um, but I've been sick all week. I got sick Sunday. I was sitting in my office Sunday after church, and I literally told my wife, I said, I'm getting sick. I said, somebody coughed, and I sneezed their germs. And by the time I got home, I was just done. So I had been in the bed most of the week. It was the first time it ever happened that I actually felt it. Come on, like that. Um, so continue to pray my strength in the Lord. When you get older, when, when you get older, you know, sickness lingers a little longer. I look, I look at my every day, I religiously look on Facebook at my memories. And, and Lexi, I look at my memories so I can see who lied over the years. <laughs> You know, folks say, I ain't going to never leave Bishop Cannon. I was the always be with Bishop Cannon. I was there. I love power praise. I ain't going nowhere. I love... <laughs> and, 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 and I noticed, I noticed this week, eight years ago, seven years ago, four years ago, two years ago, I was sick this same week. And it only lasts a couple days. And this one done lingered a little while. But we bless the blesser. Amen. Bless God for these elders, the prayer. Pray today, these musicians, to my lovely wife, amen, who did praise and worship. To all of you, God's children, we honor God for you. To those that have joined us via the feed, let us get back into the word of God as I can clean up what I've messed up on last week. Uh, Numbers. Now, if I misquote scripture today, y'all blame it on this thing called promethazine. If you don't know what it is, you should get to know it. Because promethazine will be a friend to the friendless. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sister Lisa? Promethazine is the brother to the brotherless. <laughs> Numbers. <coughs> Numbers, the 14th chapter. And for the sake of time, I just want to start. I'm, I'm going to just read the verse 8, Numbers 14 and verse 8. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land. The word of God is blessed. If the Lord delight in us, he will bring us into this land. I want to finish up on last Sunday we started. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Father, it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, just a quick question as I go into the message. Is it just me or are we in a strange season? I'm, 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 Lester, I'm talking to people that are going through some things uh, right now that you never thought that they would go through. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to people now, whether it's spiritually in the church, secularly, secularly in business. People are going through things that does not seem like it is the norm for them to go through. I'm talking to people that, that <laughs> are dealing with things challenge even logic. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that I'm even dealing with now that I, I'm not released to share, but when I do finally share with you what my wife and I are dealing with, um, you've got to shake your head. Uh, because
because even my enemy would scratch their head and be like, well, dang, I didn't want them to go through like that. Is it just me? Or, 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 do, or do we know people that, like, what did you do <laughs> to deserve this? I was, I was, I was talking to a young lady uh, the other day who has a very uh, thriving business. She has a very thriving business. And uh, she, she did a financial deal with the financial institution. And she was doing great. And she woke up uh, one morning and she noticed that her food truck had been repoed. How do you repo something that's being paid for? You you, you understand what I'm saying about strange things? Like it don't add up, you know. You you get something repoed when you don't pay for it. You know, And, and... Repossession does not take place after the first month. Repossession does not take place after the second month. Now help me because I've never had anything repossessed, but I don't even believe it happens after three months. They try after three months. Help me preach this then. But after that fourth month. And and here's why I could say that it costs more money to start the process of repossession than it does to, that's why I tell people all the time, a lot of times, you know, we, 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 we look at people wanting to take our things. You know, sometimes it costs more to take it than to try to work something out. Yeah. And, and they were sharing with me how, how distraught they were. And, 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 and we were trying to find some funding avenues for them to kind of help them save um, their, their business. And I just said to her, I said, you know what, I, I feel compelled to say this to you. And one thing I try not to do in business I, uh, unless God opens the door, I try not to intermingle business and ministry unless it happens, unless it's organic. But I don't, because, you know, some things are just bad business, but then other things are, are, are God trying to do what God is trying to do. And I said there, I said, you know, I said, I really feel like God is going to work this out for y'all uh, because you did nothing wrong. Let me say that again. I said, I said to her, I said, I feel like God is going to work this out for you because you did nothing wrong. Yeah. A couple of y'all should have danced yeah. right there. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to go through in life because you reaping what you have sown. Yes, you have brought this upon yourself. Mm-hmm. But sometimes when we go through life minding our own business, yes, ain't bothering nobody. Things happen to us. It's kind of like God is trying to either prepare something for us or prepare us for something. Do I have a witness in the building? God would never bring you to a place that he has not first prepared you to walk in. God don't have time to just waste his creation on happenstance. God don't just have time for um, superficial ambiguity. Uh-huh. Right. That just means he don't have time for the okie doke. <laughs> but if I said okie doke, Sister Linda wouldn't have comprehended. So superficial <laughs> ambiguity. Okay, so we find here this morning in the text, we find the children of Israel once again in a quandary. I am in a precarious predicament because I have removed myself from a comfortable place. And by faith, I'm going to a place that's better than comfort. But I have not been there, so I don't know what to expect. Anybody ever uh, been invited to dinner? Restaurant you've never been to before? What's one of the first things you do? Google it. Yeah. I'm going to go on the website. Yeah. I'm going to see what kind of menu they have. Yeah. And then, like at least that, I'm looking for reviews. Yeah. Because I, if, 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 if someone speaks well of it or I want to prepare myself, yeah. mm-hmm, you, you, you go to, you want to go, you want to go out of town to Vegas. Well, maybe not Vegas. <laughs> My aunt, 
Maybe not Miami. <laughs> Chestertown. We were going on vacation over to Chestertown. Little, little retreat. Okay. Virginia Beach. Okay. What, what, do you, what do you do the week prior to your sojourn to Virginia Beach? You, 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 you Google it. You know, I want to go to this restaurant. This particular uh, uh, location that serves libation. Libations are half price on Tuesday. <laughs> Am I talking right? You prepare. I know me. Wherever, I, whenever I get ready to go somewhere, I need to know where we eat. I need to know where we eat. Y'all know what I mean by. It. I don't want hotel food. I want to go down to the bottoms. I want to go down to Miss Irene's Chicken and Waffles. I don't care that she got one star. It's just something about going down to Miss Irene's. You know, I know the bellhop going to say, if I was you, I wouldn't go to that part of town. But that's why you're not me. Okay. So all week long, everybody going to eat at the five-star restaurants. I'm going to the hood. I'm going to where they got fried chicken. They haven't changed the grease in about three or four months. You don't, you don't pay no attention. Y'all looking at me funny. You don't pay attention to the flies that's stuck on the fly trap. Y'all looking at me strange. It's all right. She can know. She can know. You don't, you don't mind when you go in the bathroom. You got to put your foot through the door. Prepare myself. I'm on the plane going to Miami. I'm talking to the stewardess. You know, I'm going to Makoto when I get to Miami. Talk like I've already been there. Because I know I've, been, I, I've done my uh, reconnaissance. I'm prepared. I know if I go down to Miami and I go to Makoto, it's going to cost me about $700. Mm -hmm. I know. Never mind. If I go to Chef Tally, Chef Tally's going to cost me about $50. I know you go to Chef Tally. There's no sides at Chef Tally. No sides. You either get jerk chicken, you get jerk ribs, or you get jerk pork. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Stand in a long line, but it's going to be worth it. So I know before I go what to expect. Here in the text, we have an issue. Because all I have to hold on to is what someone told me. God spoke to Moses, told him to Go to the place that I direct you. Joshua and Caleb went to the place, saw the place, brought back the report. But there was a little mud in the water with the report. Because mm -hmm. only Joshua and Caleb brought back a report of positivity. The ten others brought back a, 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 a report of uh, not so positive translation. One of the reports, uh, they said there, there, there are grapes over there. One grape we got to carry with two hands. They said there are giants over there too. We be as grasshoppers in their sight. And y'all thought Ebonics started in the 80s. But I've got biblical precedent that Ebonics was in the Old Testament. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. The 10 came back and said, oh, it's a truth that everything God told Moses is over there. 
Oh, it's grapes over there. Milk and honey. Honey and milk. But we be not able. What kind of grammar is be not? Mother Walker, what kind of grammar is we be not able? How do you connect with someone that sees the hand of God for your life but say, I don't think I'm worthy to receive what God has for me? I got to deal with leaving a place of comfort. Am I talking right this morning? I got to leave a place of comfort. I didn't say a place of peace. I never said a place of joy. I said a place of comfort. Because for some of us in here today, y'all ain't going to say amen, it's all right. We've learned how to live in hell and be comfortable. You've learned how to take... No, 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 no offense, sis, no offense, no offense, but, but, but we as a black race, we've learned how to take uh, nothing and turn it into everything we need. Right. 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 Sean, chitlins is a delicacy now. I feel like preaching today. Oxtail. Hog maw. Scraps that Massa gave us. We've learned how to take it, deep fry it, simmer it. Hallelujah. And a little hot sauce and a little vinegar. Because you know, hot sauce and vinegar make everything taste better. We've learned how to live in pain. Because y'all taught us that I've got to learn how, I feel like preaching. Y'all taught my grandmother that she got to learn how to be content in whatever state she finds herself in. And I don't know about you, but if I'm living below poverty, I don't want to be content. I don't know about you, but if I'm borderline homeless, I don't want to be content. I don't want to be content knowing that I'm living beneath my privilege. I, I want to be in a place where I have faith to trust that if God can bring me here, he's going to take me the next mile of the way. So I'm in a quandary because I have left Egypt going into Canaan land. But it's taken me longer than anticipated. But y'all know how we do when folk call you on Friday night, call you on Saturday, say, hey, girl, hey, bro, come on, go ride with me. First two questions we ask. Well, three questions. Where are we going? How long are we going to be there? And who all over there? <laughs> I'm going to make my determination about where we're going. I don't know if you're going somewhere I can't afford. I, if I can't afford it, I don't want no smoke. How long you going to be? I got an appointment at 3 o'clock. If you're going to be a little bit longer than that, I don't need to go. Because this here, I done worked on this for a couple months. And who are? I don't fool with everybody. And just because you fool with everybody don't mean I got to fool. Now, I like you. But I don't particularly care for some of the people. I say quandary. Because I have yet to see the manifestation of what God says, I have what's called human moments. I have what's called human moments. It's a danger in being so heavenly minded you're no earthly good. It is a danger in being so caught up in going to heaven that you missed the vicissitudes here on earth. Every time somebody speaks, it ain't got to be praise the Lord. When I go to the doctor's office, I don't say praise the Lord. I say, good morning, Miss Sharon, how you doing? Mm -hmm. and when 
I go to the bank. Praise him. I need the Lord to do something in here. But I'm out of Egypt. And I have yet to go into Canaan land. And I have human moments where I'm not quite sure of myself. I'm just going to preach on me today. I'm not quite sure of myself. Remember a year and a half ago when God began to put me around a different caliber of people that I have yet to experience. There were moments where I failed to thank God for what he was doing because I spent more time questioning, should I be here? I'm just talking about me because y'all got it going on. There were times when God had opened doors for me to walk in. But let's just say this step is the threshold to the door. I would, I would get to the threshold and I would find myself nervous because when I put my feet on the carpet, it don't sound like wood. So for the past 10, 11 years, I've been, I've been used to a sound. That if I walk in this door, yeah. what I'm accustomed to, yeah. don't make the same sound. I wish I had a witness here today. So now I find a, a war psychological battle in my mind. God is trying to work. But I find myself working against the work. Oh, I wish I had a witness in here today. That could declare, Pastor, I should have been a little further than where I am right now. But it wasn't the devil that slowed me up. It was my own mind. That's why the scripture said, let this mind be in you. It was also in Christ Jesus. Scripture says, let us be not conformed to this world. But let us be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You, you got to get to a place where you ask God to show me just a glimpse uh, of your glory. I need to hold on to something that when the weight of this world gets hard and heavy, I won't abort the plan of God for my life. Mm. Do I have a witness in the building? Mm. Three things we come to learn on last week and then I'm going to get out of here today. The th well, three things we learned that, that they must trust God and not people. You got to get to a place where you trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Mm. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways. Somebody help me preach and say all my ways. No, come on, say it again. Slap your hand on your chest and say all my ways. You, you got to have an all your ways kind of mentality as God gets ready to take you into the land that flow with milk and honey. All of your ways. All, all of you. Not just on Thursday night and Sunday morning, but, but God, whatever you're doing in my life right now, and I've got to understand that you are the author. Oh, God, help me here. And the finisher of my faith. And although it might be rough right now, you're simply orchestrating a chapter in my life that's going to help me get through this thing that I'm in. You've got to trust God. Somebody say trust him even when I can't trace him. Yeah, I don't see God right now and I don't feel God right now but I got to know he wouldn't have brought me this far just to leave me. I don't understand what God is doing right now but God promised, lo, I'll be with you always even till the end of the world. And not only must you learn to trust God, but you've got to know that God, in fact, will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. In other words, if I follow God and God leads me, somehow, some way, he's going to provide. My grandmother, if she was here, she'd testify that the God that she serves is a lawyer that's never lost a case. He's a doctor that's never lost a patient. Yes, and if that's the kind of God that we serve, we can testify that I once was young, but now I'm old. And I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. In other words, I might not have all that I want, but God somehow finds a way. 
to provide everything that I need. I might never wear Balenciago. I might not never wear Louis Vuitton. But I thank God that as long as my feet can slide in a pair of Crocs, I thank God that as long as there's a shoe called Skecher, I have something on my feet. I wish I had a witness in here that has ever been to the place where you didn't have all that you wanted, but you still had food on the, I feel like preaching, had food on the table. You didn't have the kind of car that you wanted to drive, but you always got to where you needed to go. Oh God, help me in here today. There were times when you didn't have friends. Nobody called you when you needed them, but you understood that there's not a friend like Jesus. No, not one. I got to hurry up here. They must trust God. They must understand that God will supply. And they must worship God according to his instruction. You've got to know that God is too wise of a God to make a mistake. You've got to know that when God orchestrates a plan, it's line upon line, precept upon precept, step upon step. And just because I'm at a place of being uncomfortable I'm at a place of being uncertain does not mean that God has left me that's why the psalm is declared please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. You got to encourage yourself, my brothers and sisters. And you got to understand that special orders take time. For all of my wine connoisseurs, you don't get a glass of wine until a grape has been crushed. To all of my jewelry wearers, you don't get a gold bracelet or a gold watch until the gold has gone through the fire for those of y'all that have diamonds on your hand diamonds don't become precious but they have been put in a press you got to understand in order for God to get the glory out of you you got to be pressed you got to go through the fire and you gotta be crushed is there anybody here this morning that has ever feel like they've gone through the press of life they've gone through the fires of life but you're still here and it's by the grace of God if you know that God has kept you then you want to say Lord I might not understand but I thank you for the keep I thank you for the keep say it with me I thank you God for the keep what do you mean pastor thank you for the keep well scripture says that he'll keep you in perfect peace with your mind stayed on the law that means come hell or high water sink or swim do or die my mind is on the law three things I want to read in your hearing warm it up sir and let's ride the first thing is you cannot allow your sight to distort your vision let me say it again we must not allow what we see with our eye to hinder what God has already said let me say it again we must not let what God has already said to be hindered with what we see I got to encourage somebody stop looking at what you see cause you're gonna miss what God has said Moses the text declared that he believed the voice of the law 
Moses. He believed the instruction of the law. It was Joshua and Caleb who saw what God said to Moses. Yes, but the others, somebody say the others that were following became a hindrance and not a help. There will be people who will have doubt as to what God is saying concerning you. You got to forget what people say because it amazes me how people will have questions about your journey, questions about your cause, questions about your Canaan, but have not left Egypt. You got to lay aside every weight and the sin that do so easily be set you. Let's get ready to work. You got to understand if God be God, no weapon that's ever formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up in condemnation, God will handle. In other words, please understand that the hand of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me. He has brought good tidings. And if God, and if God brought me this far, then by faith I decree he's going to take me the next step of the way. I don't want to hear the Lord declare you did run well, but what hindered you? You did as I said, but you allowed people, you allowed circumstance, you allowed Egypt to hinder what I'm trying to do. Hold on a little while. Your change is on the way. I got to quit. But my next point, please, whatever you do, don't fall victim to promissory paralysis. I said promissory paralysis is nothing more than you get weak because the promise has not come. You get weary because the manifestation has not come. God said, he gonna deliver you, but you still drink. God said, he gonna make a way, but you still do what you did before God said a thing. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. I got to quit, but I came to prophesy to about 15 people in here. Be not weary in well doing, for you shall reap if you faint. Say not. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Cause you're close up to Canaan. Yeah! You're close up to healing. You're close up to power. You're close up to victory. Say yeah! Say yeah! Say in the whole box. Say yeah! I am on my way to better days. I am on my way to Canaan land. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Victory shall be mine. Ooh. 
my peace and let the Lord Hold my peace and let the Lord fight it for me. I ain't got to worry about what the world may say. If God said it, it shall come to pass. Say it! fall victim to promissory paralysis paralysis is a loss or impairment of voluntary movement caused by injury or disease don't fall victim promissory paralysis, the disease of fear, anxiety, disorder, uncomfortable situations can cause us to not move forward to receive the promises that await you. God prepares us for it, and he prepares it for us and you've got to know my brothers and sisters special orders take time i think i said it last week you don't want what everybody got i want what god got for me i'd rather wait but get what i'm supposed to have You ever had a person that you hung with and then things didn't go right? So y'all stopped hanging. Then you found somebody else. That didn't go right. Y'all stopped hanging. Then you found somebody else. Names have changed. Faces have changed. But the actions stay the same. You've been suffering for too long for you to just accept any old thing. I was taught make your calling and election sure. If God can speak with specificity, then surely we ought to be able to do the same. How do you have 12 people see the same thing? 12 people come back with a report. Two people positive, 10 people negative. In this season, you have a choice on whose report will you believe. Girl, what you need to buy a house for now? Bruh, why are you settling down now? You only 29. You got your whole life ahead of you. Bruh, why are you trying to open another business? Leave some money out there for somebody else to make. 
girl, why you need to get a new car? Why you try and go back to college? We've been out here hanging like this for the last seven years. Why you want change now? Because we've been out here hanging like this for the last seven years. And ain't nothing jumping off for seven years. I didn't say it. I don't believe he brought me this far. I refuse to believe it. He brought me this far to leave. And although there's a war going on in my member, now scripture becomes life. I said there's a war going on in my mind. Going back to that which was comfortable or out here in the wilderness, insert uncertainty. Scripture says, greater is he that's in me. I need a greater God in me. Because if I get to listen to my mind, my mind, I, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. But you got to have the spirit of God. Because see, your mind, your mind will have you thinking stuff. Y'all know Deacon Raphael Brown ain't playing. Y'all ain't supposed to, I don't like Deacon Raphael, but y'all ain't supposed to like him either. Now watch this. This is what happens in church. They Somebody said, oh, okay. Nobody, nobody said, well, Deacon ain't do nothing to me. Or what happened? What did he do? I'm mad. Watch this, because Deacon didn't speak to me. I didn't think for one second Deke had something on his mind. Deke was in the middle of doing an assignment. But I'm now mad. Well, he been speaking. Don't nobody care about no assignment. He been having assignments for Bishop. He always doing for Bishop. So now y'all ain't supposed to like him either. Yeah. Because if y'all like him now that I don't like him this week, I'm going to have a problem with y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. So now they're not speaking to Deke. Don't realize Deke called me. I said, Bishop, I walked past you today. I had something on my mind. I'm so sorry. I, the Holy Ghost re revealed to me I didn't speak to you. Oh, Deke, don't even worry about it. I, well, I ain't even know. I, don't even worry about that, Deke. But I don't forgot to tell y'all that me and Deke got it together. So now y'all mad at Deke. Now Sister Linda said, I don't know who the hell they think they is. I'm just trying to paint the picture like it happened in church. Well, I've been praying they didn't speak to my husband no way because they both, I felt like, were trying to get with him. <laughs> now, now, me and Deke done made up. Two of the elders mad with the deacon. The deacon wife mad with the elders. So you got all this tension next Sunday all at the front of the church around the altar. And y'all trying to figure out. walking here laughing and cutting up. Now y'all looking at me like y'all laughing because y'all know what happened.
And just like that, you delayed your process. God is not the author of confusion. You can't give ear to everything. I've been saying this for years, and we still don't get it. You don't come, you don't come to church for horizontal relationships. I know we say high five our neighbor. I know we say prophesy to our neighbor. But your relationship in church is vertical. Okay, for y'all don't know horizontal and vertical because you wasn't paying attention in class. And don't feel bad because I just learned over the last five years myself, so don't feel bad. Horizontal is equal, side by side, parallel. Next to you, horizontal. People come to church and have horizontal relationships. When you do stuff like this, Lester, you going to church today? <laughs> Never mind. That's just my, uh... John, are you going to church today? Nah, I ain't going to church today. I was out last night. I was out last night, man. I got the highs as a kite. It's my God. And then, but see, I'm going to tell Bishop, that because the hour went up, I forgot to set my clock. You know Bishop Gullible like that. So, all right. Well, if you ain't going to church, I ain't going to church. That's, that's horizontal. Sheikah got an issue with the pastor. Sheikah, what we, what we don't like Bishop for this week? We. That's, that's, that's horizontal. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised at what could come out of my mouth that would have y'all in the floor in stitches. Like, there's people right now that say they don't come find praise because of Bishop Cannon. No, you don't come find praise because you don't want to get that jaw tap. And, 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 and as the bishop and the pastor that I am, I don't let the truth be known. I just let folk talk about me like they do. Because they know, they know if I say it about bishop, I say it about lady, they not going to bark back. But I could tell you some stuff as to why some folk don't show their face. And which camera am I talking to? Talking about you. Just being honest. Rather than saying I was wrong. But I got to say this ain't got nothing to do with the message. I got to say it. Some of y'all wrong. Some of y'all in this room wrong. I'm wrong. You know why? My grandmother used to always say, you let a dog lick you in your face. You play with a dog, he's going to lick you in your face. That's what she said. There were moments. Now, if it ain't you, then don't get mad. But if it is you, think about it. There were moments when you had opportunity to hold people accountable. And you didn't. You just as wrong. And if you got somebody that you call a friend and you can't hold them accountable, they're not a real friend. I got my, a friend loveth at all times. We can fall out, but we're going to fall right back in. You ought to be able to come to me, pull me to the side and say, hey, Bishop. I had somebody come to me years ago and was like, Bishop, can I sit in your office for a minute? I was like, sure. I said, what's up? And they, they said, well, you know, there's a particular word that you say when you preach. And I don't want my children growing up thinking it's okay to say that word. And I said, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm going to do better. And I stopped saying the word. Until I found out they be home saying it. I said, oh, y'all be home saying the word. Because, <laughs> see, I do stuff like this. When I catch the kids by themselves, I'll be like, where you be hearing this word at? They said, Bishop, my mom and dad say that word. I said, oh. If you love somebody, you ought to be able to say, you know, that wasn't right. 
he was wrong. And they ought to be like, yeah, you know, I, 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 got, I got to do better. But in the, only in the African-American Pentecostal church did we let people commit murder and apply grace and no accountability. And when I say murder, we murdering people every week, not with a knife, not with a gun. You have people tuning on the live that have resigned and never coming back in a building. Because they want God, they want the things of God, but they don't want the stuff that the church has produced. If I come to church and get a word, I need the word to come from the pulpit, not from the stall next to me while I'm squatting. Because you know how y'all do in the bathrooms. Hey, sis. And we've hindered or we've held up what God has for us. My assignment over the last two weeks was to encourage you to let you know that what God has for you Can't no, say it again. Can't no demon. No witch. No warlock. No Obi-Wan man. Stop. But what God has for you. But you've got to trust what God has said. The only way the plan of God can stop for your life is when you begin to doubt. When you begin to second guess God. I'm going to lose this weight. I put it on my vision board. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to be healthy this year. I'm going to drink more water. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I woke up this morning like 317, 417, one of the two of them. It was 17. And I went to the bathroom. And on my way back to the air mattress, the spirit said, go in the kitchen. I said, well, all right. Don't mind if I do. Now, I'm going to give y'all a choice of what y'all think I ate in the kitchen. Either, either a carrot stick. What's that? <laughs> Open confession, good for the soul. So let me tell y'all what I did last night. TV up real loud, right? So I opened the pack of cookies. And I slid a paper towel in between the top and the bottom so they wouldn't stick together. Sure. I opened that lid up this morning. I ain't hear no noise. I said, got him. Sitting there popping them cookies in my mouth. In my mind, I was like, I gotta lose this weight. I was looking at my wife over there asleep by the fireplace. <laughs> took, I took, no, no, I don't. Took one of them cookies and waved it at her lap. <laughs> she kept right on sleeping and I kept right on popping. <laughs> and every time I pop one of them lemon Oreos in my mouth, I said, I'm gonna lose this weight. God knows I'm going to lose this week. I was wrong. But even in my wrongness, I kept decreeing, I'm going to lose this week. Now, now here's the funny thing. I got on the scale this morning after I got out of the showers. I lost four pounds last week. Y'all say what y'all won't say. <laughs> Sometimes it ain't about what you see, it's about what you say. Now I, don't, now, I don't, now, I don't know what it's going to be next week. But we take, we take a week at a time. I'm done. But, 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 but you got to trust God's plan for your life. I, 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 
I, I, I, I can't get no more specific about it. But for everyone in here, God has something great in store for you. And it's the enemy's job to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus said, I came that you might have life. You got to believe in yourself. Ask, ask Sister Couture. Mm -hmm. Ask Sister Couture. Mm -hmm. ask, her, ask her what happened the other night. Favor ain't fair. Now, I, I told her you can't be you can't be FaceTiming the bishop with your, your chest all out. <laughs> Hallelujah. I shout now, shouting is over. And don't play no music. Let her dance. Let her dance till her feet hurt. She'll sit down. She should have danced. Got here late. Sit down. Oh, okay. But you was blessed, wasn't you? You never know who talks about you. We listen. That, 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 that right there has been something that has damaged the African-American Pentecostal church. People talking about you. We get offended when we hear people talking about you. That's because you hang around the wrong kind of people. I like when I get phone calls now from certain people. Hey, man, we was talking about you at dinner last night. For real? What we get ready to do? I'm jealous. I'm jealous. It, it, well, I got to pray to see if I got to give you the number, though. I got to pray about it. Because it cost me $10,000 to get that phone number. They, they said give it to you for nothing. I don't know if I'm going to give it to you. I don't know if you're going to handle it right or not. So I'm just, hey, I ain't going to talk about you behind your back. I'm going to talk about it right to your face in front of everybody so I can have a witness. I got to see how you act. And the reason I'm saying it because you ain't the only one. There are people in here that God going to open doors for. And you got to prepare yourself before the door gets open. Because once you get in the door, you don't know what's going to be inside that door. That's going to ship. That's why y'all got to be careful about what you do on social media. Because you don't know who watching. They ain't talking. They just watching. God put your name on somebody's mind. I, I'm going to tell this part. I ain't going to tell the whole story. My mentor's wife, you know how on Instagram they be hacking pages and stuff. My mentor's wife got her page hacked and, and, and started following her. So we was actually in Miami at the house. She come inboxing me, Bishop, 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 you ain't going to believe this. So she told me, I was like, yeah, you're right. I don't believe it. Yeah, sounds good. And just by me telling her, young lady, go to my church. Your page got hacked. Blase, blase. She was like, oh, for real? I said, yeah, she a fan of yours. She followed you. She said, oh, that's so nice. That's so sweet. That was the seed that was entered into them about her. So the other night I'm in Jersey at the mansion, and she, I said, you, you, you got an iPhone? She said, yeah. I said, send me your number, your iPhone number. I said, I'm going to FaceTime you. I FaceTimed her. She thought it was me. My mentor was on. Talking about, hey. She said, oh, Bishop, Bishop. He said, whatever he can't, my brother can do to help you, I will. He said, just let me know. I told you, stop all that shout. Your feet going to hurt. Your husband going to rub your feet tonight. 
And I'm and I'm I'm saying that because not because I'm talking about her, but I want I hope y'all can understand. You don't know where your next blessing lies. Like y'all think sometimes when I'm talking from the pulpit, I'm making stuff up. Am I lying, Couture? Just by being connected to me. He said, anything you need, what do you want to do in life? Now, if you don't, if you don't do right by God, I ain't man, I ain't co-signing nobody don't do right by God. But you have to have the declaration. I don't believe. Come here, honey. He brought me this far. You got your phone? Come pull it up. Come here. I'm gonna put it in the microphone. Lexi, Shawnees, all of y'all. Good to see you. Jonica, Sheik, all y'all. It ain't too late. Come on. I want you to play it loud. She ain't cussed this year. Huh? Oh, it's on that phone. We're gonna play it loud for y'all, because I want y'all to hear how she acted on that phone the other day. She acted like she, she acted like the uh uh what were them things back in the day uh uh the sweepstakes publishers clearinghouse yeah she act like the, the publishers clearinghouse but I want to say this to everybody in here whatever it is God has assigned to your hands I'm done if whatever camera I'm talking to whatever whatever God has assigned to your hands this will not be the church for 16 years. We was the hot church. For 16 years, we was the church of, you want to have good emotional time, come to fire and praise. But starting now, this will not be the church where we solely just have an emotional time. We're going to walk in what God has for us, spiritually and naturally. Whatever I can do, whatever my wife can do, and I said it last year, I'm going to say it again. It's too easy. Hear me. It is too easy for y'all to own homes. It is too easy. Our duplex in Cleveland, we paid $42,000 for a year and a half ago. I could sell it tomorrow for 80. And I haven't even renovated it yet. Some of y'all spending more money on clothes, liquor. Yeah. food, all kind of stuff. Get your money together. Get your credit right. Buy your house. For some of y'all, I can show y'all where you could buy a house for $25,000. Hold that house for about three months and sell that house for $45,000. You done made $15,000, $20,000 in less than a year. But y'all don't trust. Y'all don't trust God and you don't trust your leader. That's the part of being in the wilderness where some of us mess up. Because we waiting for God to come on a hundred. We, we waiting for God to come. But God is saying, I've already given you the blueprint on how to get to Canaan. Yeah. Yeah. A friend of mine bought a house for $7,000 and sold it for $30,000 in two weeks. Never even saw the house. Bought it online. That's what y'all got to do. You got to ask God to help, help me to dead my ears to the ten and help me open my ears and my eyes to the two. I'm done. God, we thank you today for what our ears have heard and our hearts have felt. We trust and pray, God, something has been said or done has been edifying to these, your people. Help us to hold on to the declaration, God, that by faith, we don't believe that you brought us this far to leave us now. We've come out from among them. We have separated ourselves. But God, don't let our intellect hinder what you're trying to do. Stimulate our faith in you, O oh God. Stimulate our walk with you, O oh God. Surround us with like-minded people that will help encourage us when our mind sometimes gets the best of us. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray today for everyone that can hear me. God, we don't know. It's not for us to know what people are going through. 
But God, this is a season where it just seems like everybody is going through something. I want to ask you today, God, to dispatch your ministering angels to minister to everyone that can hear my voice. Heal, God, deliver, set free, provide, make ways out of no ways. Do it, God, not for us, but do it so that you get the glory. Bless those babies that are in the hospital now. We pray, God, that there will be strength in their bodies from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. In the name of Jesus, bless that mother. Oh, God, give her encouragement right now. Give her strength in the name of Jesus. Anyone else that may be sick, God, touch them in a mighty way. Heal and deliver. Bless Sister Benson and her family, God. Encourage them, God. After the benediction and people have gone back home, help them to know, God, that you're too wise of a God to make a mistake. Help them to know, God, that earth has no sorrow that heaven can heal. Help her go through. Help the family go through this hour of bereavement, this hour of transition, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and I pray before I close, God, send fresh wind to this house. Let us be the ministry that people are looking for in the last and evil days. Let us not be so consumed with names and titles, but let us continue to lift you up, oh God. For your word says, if you be lifted up, you'll draw all men unto you, God, in the name. Have your way the more. Now, God, as we leave this place, but not from your presence, give us traveling mercy over the dangerous highways until we meet again. And as our prayer in Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you all. We'll see you on Thursday. Tomorrow is prayer. Thursday is Bible study.